Welcome to the Revit API with C Sharp setting a type parameter. This is a subscriber um, question. So what I'm going to do is I've generated an empty class here. I'll go ahead and zoom in. And I want to create a couple of methods. Uh, the first method will be for setting the type parameter. And what I'll need is the document. The next part here is I want to get an element. Um, and I want to find an element uh, by the name. So uh, I'll go ahead and get the document. Um, and then I'll get the type of uh, element that I'm finding. I'll call it target type. And then I will also get a string which will allow me to search for the name or the type name. Here I'll go ahead and just get return uh, my filter element collector, uh, which will then look into my type. So here I'll go ahead and start the filter element collector. Um, and I'll get it from the current document, which I'm working with. And I'll get a, a class and I'll, the type. Um, and then the first one or the default, so we'll get the very first one that it finds um, of the and of the element. Um, and from the element, uh, this is a lambda expression. Uh, the e is my element, so I'll find the e dot name. Um, if it equals the target name or the string that I'm going to send in to my method here. Um, and then that'll all be returned. Now this looks busy and I never like to leave code like this because somebody else will come in, have to read it. Uh, one thing here that it's not, there we go, the target name or the type needs to be in there in the type of class. Uh, so here I'm gonna, I'm gonna clean this up a little bit. Uh, so this is really, really a little bit easier to read. So it's of class target type, uh, first or default element, and then a Lambda expression, which is finding uh, the name. So here I'll go ahead and just call that method. Um, so I'll be returning an element. Um, and here I'll find my element by name. Uh, and it's the document. And it's a type of, and I'm going to do a wall type, which is kind of what I've been working with uh, for a while now. And, and uh, the, the target name will be um, uh, SW48, which in my company we call Sure Wall uh, 48 inches. Uh, and here, here's the magic of getting a type. I have to convert this uh, instance element to a type element. Um, so I'm going to go from the document uh, dot get element, and from the element ID, I'm going to I'm going to cast it as a wall type. So this here will send the element um, and bring back the um, type element. So here's a little try catch in case it fails. Uh, your your user won't. Um, get some ridiculous message. Uh, so I'll go ahead and start a transaction here. Uh, and I'll go ahead and send in the document. Then I want to um, get the, a parameter uh, wall type. Uh, and uh, from the wall type, I want to get the, the parameter, uh, which is a built-in parameter, and these are all listed in the Revit document. Um, and I'll go ahead and get the the all model cost, which is uh, if you go to L, uh, edit type, uh, you'll find a, a cost. Um, and then I want to set it. And it's a, it's, an, it's a double. So I'll just go ahead and set it to 500. Um, and then I, I want to commit that. Uh, and I want to do a catch, because I got to try. So I have to have a catch. Uh, for my exemption in case it gives it an error message. Um, I'll go ahead in case uh, somebody does something odd and doesn't get a wall or does something weird. Um, I'll go ahead and show it. Um, so it'll be a, a task dialog dot show. And, the, and here the, the top of it will say error uh, and the message of the body um, here will say uh, the error message. Uh, so it's actually not a concatenation or 
or a string builder here, I want to um, actually the error is the title and the uh, message is what should, actually what's inside my uh, uh, message. I also got two um, parameter or yeah parameters that are the same, so I'll call this one ex for ex exception. Um, and then uh, if I if I commit a transaction, uh, just a little cleanup here. I got to start a transaction. So I think that's about. Double check this code. Make sure everything's good. Okay, so I'll, I'll go ahead and instantiate or, or start the command here in my class of uh, command. Um, and then I'll go ahead and get my work set here for my uh, thing. Um, and uh, the, here, this is a, for, a 48 inch wall or my SW. Uh, the cost of it is blank. Um, there's the cost, nothing there. Uh, let's see the magic happen. Um, and I'll go ahead and go to my uh, tab and run my my button. Uh, oops, and I'll go ahead and select this, get the type, um, and there you go, 500. Um, anyways, if if you have any more questions or you'd like me to uh, make a video of something, you have you have a question. Um, Please subscribe, let me know, um, and thanks again for watching.